hi guys welcome back to tutorial race and in this video you are learning current operations through uh, react.js and php mysql as a backend and you are in part 5 and in this part you are going to uh, learn how to create database and tables also so we are going to work in this part uh, in the backend so first uh, I assume that you have installed XAMPP, okay? You have already installed XAMPP and you have started XAMPP. Then let's open PHP my admin and create database named uh, React JS CRUD. So let's start. Let's start here. Okay. So I have already installed the XAMPP and also my XAMPP is running here. Okay. So I'm going to simply right here localhost and then PHP my admin. So once the PHP my admin is open, click on this database and then React JS CRUD. So this is our database name. You can give any name you like. So click on create. Okay, so I believe that I've already created this database. So React JS CRUD, I have already created this database. Okay. So in case you have not created, then it will get created automatically. After that inside that you need to create one so this is my database okay so in that inside that you need to t create table so to create table what you need to do is that you need to provide here uh, if you want to create the table then in that case here I can see the option so you need to provide here table name and how many fields you will have for example I've already created here this students table so it contains uh, SID and F name, L name, email. Okay, so these are the fields name uh, I provided here. So you can create uh, students, and then there are four fields. So simply will click here. Since the table name already exists, so it it is not allowing me to create here. So better let me show you, but. I dropping this one okay okay so it is dropped now students have four fields we are going to create a new one this is students table name and four fields will be there so now here will be s i e i is capital here and then auto increment auto increment here and also primary key the second one is F name, F capital, the camel case, F name, it will be Valka 255, then L name, L and capital, and then Valka 255, length will be 255. And last will be email, this will be also Valka and 255 characters. Okay, once this is done, click on this uh, button the table is created the table name is students here I can see okay now our next task is to go to Zem folder so go to your Zem folder in my case this much Zem 72 are given name and then go to htdocs and then I've also created here a folder you create a folder called react js i have several accuracy now uh, angular related and i believe i've also created here react js react PLST. okay react php crud so this is our folder name react php crud okay so you also uh, create a folder called react php crud inside htdocs folder of zim and now inside that I have already created here a few files. There is a insert, list, update, connect. So first one, this is my connect file. Simply click on hit this. And if you know PHP, then you shouldn't have any problem with telling this. This is localhost and username blank because it's my localhost. That's why. And then DB password is blank and a PHP crud. So it is not a PHP crud actually. Let's go to here. And our database name is React CRUD. So let's 
name it to react js cron database name okay the rest of the things will be as it is so only thing you need to change here is react js cron that is database name so once that is done uh, now let's check the next thing it is insert okay so let's open this file here and I've already written code here so it is first name last name and email so better let's do one thing let's print R here print underscore R print underscore R and let's check what does the value come from there okay it is first so let's comment everything else for the time being if you know PHP then you might be knowing that a print underscore R actually displays uh, the this prints the array so now let's start from here and check so let's once again right here Umar and then Rahman sorry uh, Rahman and then email Umar at the rate gmail dot com now uh, let's press this register button this one right so this is our inside.php file now check your response oh, so in response Lady displaying here 200. That means data is passing, but it is not displaying anything. Okay, let me check. One more thing we need to check the path if the path is correct or not. So, this is our path into header section. Okay, so this is the path. So, let me check if the path is opening correctly or not. Because if the path is wrong, then of course it will not work no object not found this that means our name is different so i believe that my folder name here is different php react php crud so i need to change here this place okay because this one is the path localhost then inside that the folder name is did and then inside that inside dot php so now let's get back to here and and now this time let's repress it again and then let's put your name Omar and then Ehman and ABC blah, blah, dot com okay now register so network inside of me okay now press here insert response so error is going blank so error is going blank because you know the data is going as a JSON format okay so this way we can't fetch it so what we need to do is that actually it was uh, fine here already so let's delete this okay we don't require this one so here so here if it said post data okay one second this one we need actually this one so we are getting the dat data input okay in post data and if uh, this one is not empty then JSON decode because the data which is coming here is coming as a JSON format but we need to convert the JSON data from JSON data to array now that can be done using this JSON decode if you know PHP then you might be understanding that what I'm saying here so json decode okay this json decode actually convert the json uh, data uh, from uh, json data to php array so now if you want to print and see then here i can see now it is now it is uh, uh, into array okay so now if you want to try then let's 
create here once again Umar then Rahman then Umar at the rate gmail dot com if you press here then if you click on this you can see here oh there is some syntax mistake line number 39 I expected end of file okay so it looks like there is curly braces mistake this curly brace oh this one because of this not remove that code that's why so now let's once again right here my name now press this one click on this and you can see here I go the data is coming here first name Umar last name this one and uh, so it's coming as first name last name email so we need to change the name here as well where and this one so the data is coming now as first name it is coming f i s t name first name then this one also sorry this one also first name last name last name this one also last name email is fine and here it will be as it is why because our field name is like this okay our field name is like this so the left side here the left side this one will be same but this needs to be changed here because this is value okay. yeah now let's try to insert sorry guy I'm inside my home that's why you might be getting some okay first name Omar then Omar at the red gmail.com now if you press here then let's see what happens Okay, now let's check here if the data got inserted or not. Yeah, it is inserting now perfectly. So guys, you can see that oh, if you want to max your if it is really working, then let's do one thing. Somewhere I have written here print chart. Let's remove this. And if you really want to if you want to check if it's really working, so to max your let's write here Rajesh. Kumar, which is my favorite student's name, then Rajesh at the rate gmail.com. So if you press here, now refresh it, and you can see the data is passing from the React.js to this PHP MySQL REST API. So, hope guys, you can understand this. So, let me explain this once again here. What happening here? So this is our field name. This is our field name: first name, last name, email, and all these things. Okay, and then the initial state of our value is blank. Okay, but when we press, uh, when we press button, then the value is assigned in the first name, last name, email. Okay, here when it change changes, and the value is bind. This one is bind from here uh, here okay on change so this on change then the value is taken from here and it is assigned to this one and ultimately we created uh, an object here so so that we can create a JSON format key value uh, data now the data is uh, created here key value and the same object this object you can see here this object data is passed mm. to PHP file where insert.php and then the insert.php file is written here where it is getting the data and ultimately inserting into MySQL. So that's the process in short. So hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. And in the next video we will work on view section because we will display the data fetching from MySQL through PHP to react js so so that when you click here
when you click uh, view the data will display here in row format so thank you for watching bye bye